Hello everyone, so we are happy to announce our new Azure Data Factory batch and this will be a completely free batch because all the videos related to the Azure Data Factory I will try to post in a YouTube itself. I will try to cover each and every topic from a basic to the advanced level. So if you are completely beginner or you want you are preparing for the Azure Data Engineer role, you can refer this particular playlist because practical based learning approach we are going to follow. Hands on learning is very much important. Whenever you will join company, you only have to build a pipeline, you only have to debug. So all the kind of the skill we are going to learn in this particular playlist. Doubt clearing. So if you will be having any kind of the doubt, you can post your doubt and we'll try to resolve as much as we can. Multiple real-time projects. So we are going to cover multiple real-time projects so that you can mention in your resume and you can do that particular project as your experience. We are going to cover multiple interview questions so that it will be helpful for your interview's perspective. The expectation is like do practical as much as you can and also try to do experiment so that you will be having a better understanding on that particular topic. Anyway, we are going to cover practical based learning approach but as much as experiment you will do, you will try to learn more. Debug as much as you can. The, one of the most important thing is like debugging skills. So try to build your debugging skill. If you are getting stuck, try to search in a Google, try to resolve that, try to debug that. And if after that also you are getting stuck, then try to post in a group. So we have a group of people, they will try to help you and they will try to resolve that. So that is the plan for this Azure Data Factory batch. Now let's discuss how actually we are going to do a practical based learning. So I will try to upload a video. I'll try to upload a video. I'll try to mention all the data set in a description itself. The data set will be available in a description. You can directly download from the description. I'll try to upload the theoretical part in a description itself so that if you have to make a notes, you can directly make a notes from a description itself. And after that, you have to do a practical. So for practical, you should have a Azure account. For the practical, you should have a Azure account. So how actually you have to create a free Azure account. So for 30 days free trial generally you will get. So 30 days free trial generally you will get in Azure so that you can do a practical and do a practice. So how actually we can create a Azure free account. So, so let me show you that. We have to do, we have to come to the Google. We have to search for the Azure account. Azure account, free account, something you have to search. Now you can see azure.microsoft.com click here it is laying like create your free account so it is 200 USD is free for 30 days that actually we are going to use so click on the start free once you will do this you have to log in with your Microsoft account okay so let me try to show you a step after that you have to give your email address and you have to log in with your Microsoft account and after that you have to fill your all the details write the country region first name last name email address phone number and all verification after that the phone verification will happen okay and after that uh, with the help of the credit card two rupees will be cut okay and that will be refunded and you have to submit your credit card and then you will be eligible for the 30 days free account okay 30 days free account so you can use any services free for the 30 days okay so here yeah, that's it now let's discuss from a job interview perspective so let me open a nokri.com in a nokri.com i have searched azure data factory now if you will see multiple companies are looking for the azure data factory role you can see data engineer 3 requirement azure data factory so if any company who are using azure cloud for all the kind of the etl activity data engineer activity generally they use a azure data factory as well as the databricks so in second you can see senior azure data engineer role they are looking for the databricks and the data factory similarly in optimum also they are looking for the data platform architect azure data factory and databricks is must and uh, you can see this is the one of the uh, requirement where they are looking for the azure data factory engineer itself if i'll show you this so what they are looking experience in azure data factory with experience in a etl pipeline using python and sql 
so python and sql is much uh, but azure data factory is also important from a etl perspective so we also have requirement for the adf developer we also have requirement uh, you can see azure data factory data bricks so for azure data engineer role this is for the infosys now let's see what infosys is looking for the azure data engineer now here somewhere you will find as a azure data engineer you should be good in a azure data factory you can see expert level understanding on a azure data factory itself azure sql data lake that is important but expert level understanding you should have in a azure data factory itself so, so anyway we are going to cover from a basic to the advanced so that it will be helpful for you yeah that's it in this video thanks for watching see you soon